Hey everyone, welcome back to another Collective Review. Well, I finally got my hands on some of the new 2020 Collective figures, so we're kicking things off on the channel with a review of their Deluxe Protoceratops. I ended up ordering this Protoceratops along with some of the other 2020 Collective figures from Minizoo. This was my first time ordering from Minizoo, and I have to say I'm quite happy with my order. The box arrived very well packed, the figures were in perfect condition, and it took about two weeks to get here from Australia, which isn't surprising considering all the things going on in the world right now, so I will definitely be ordering again in the very near future from Minizoo. And also, Everything Dinosaur recently got some of the new 2020 Collective figures in, including this Protoceratops. This figure retails between $20 and $30, depending who you're ordering from. And this figure is definitely worth it. It's such a cool looking figure. This was definitely one of my most anticipated figures from Collective this year. And this figure does not disappoint. So before we dive deeper into this review, let's do a couple quick measurements. This figure is just a hair over 9 inches long from the tip of the beak to the tip of the tail. And exactly 4 inches tall at the highest point. Of the tail right here, Protoceratops was not a large dinosaur, it was just under 6 feet long. So with those measurements, that would put this figure somewhere in the 1-7 scale range. Now this Protoceratops is in the Collecte Deluxe figure range. It's being toted as a 1-6 scale figure, so yes, the scale is very, very close to 1-6 scale. Moving on to the pose of this figure, this Protoceratops seems to be sculpted in a defensive position. The tail is being held high. The front legs are crouching down. The frill is almost flush with the back. It looks like this Protoceratops is gearing up to defend itself from a predator. As you can see, all four feet are firmly on the ground. This is a very stable model. And when looking at it from this angle, you can really tell that this Protoceratops is sculpted in a defensive position, like it's trying to fend off a Velociraptor from attacking its nest. The color scheme on this figure is very natural. There's not a lot going on with it. The main body coloration is this very, very light brown color. And there's a nice dark wash over the whole figure to bring out all that beautiful scale detail. You've got some darker brown along the limbs right here. Kind of looks like the limbs are dirty from the animal walking through mud. And then you have some dark chocolate brown markings along the frill right here, highlighting the fenestra and some dark spots going down the body to the end of the tail and then the quills on the tail right here are sculpted in sorry painted in a like a yellowish white color with just a brown wash over it and same thing underneath the figure you have that same whitish yellow coloration for the underside of this figure so let's zoom in and take a look at some of the finer details on this figure starting with that gorgeous head sculpt this is a really really nice looking protoceratops head sculpt it looks great from all the angles you can see the eye is painted in black most collective figures the eyes is painted in black you very rarely see pupil detail on them you can see the orbit is quite large on here which is correct protoceratops had a unusually large orbit you can see that chocolate brown coloration for the fenestras on the frill right here a lot of beautiful scale detail sculpted into that frill there we go now my camera finally focuses you can see some brown highlights on the rough patch above the snout the beak is beautifully detailed. There's a lot of beautiful scale detail all over this figure. You can see the nostril sculpting right here and the ear hole. You've got some nice shading around the eye. Now this figure does have an articulated jaw and you just pull down the beak right here and then you have the mouth wide open. I think this figure looks great with the mouth open. You've got a lot of nice detail in there. Let me just try to shine, get my light in there. You can see the tongue is painted in pink. You get some beautiful, beautiful different size teeth sculpted in there. They are also painted in white. Now, articulated jaws, I've been very critical of Collecte's articulated jaws in the past, and this figure is gonna be no different. I think it looks okay. It's not the best, and my biggest issue with Collecte's articulated jaw is when you close them, most of the time, on uh, most of the figures, the jaw, the articulation does not close flush with the mouth, and just the mouth is just left half open like that. It just looks weird to me you know you can still see the tongue and the teeth i just kind of wish like this was hollowed out right here and then the beak this lower beak could kind of slide in there and the mouth would close flush i think it would look a lot better i just feel like these articulated jaws really really take away from the sculpt sometimes i think this would have looked much better if it, if it didn't have an articulated jaw you know you just didn't get this big seam line right here it just would look a lot better in my opinion and this articulated jaw is probably the biggest negative on this figure. Other than that, this is a really solid figure. I really have no other complaints 
other than how this articulated jaw looks like. So let's move up down to the rest of the figure. You can see the body is beautifully detailed. You got some large scales mixed in right here with all the small scales. Like I said, there is a dark wash going over with this whole figure. So you can see all that beautiful scale detail is brought out. Going down to the feet right here, you can see they are have the correct number of digits, just these three toes right here have the claws, where these two outer uh, toes do not have claws. Even on the back feet right here, you've got the four toes with the claws on them. A lot of nice scale detail and muscle definition. All of this figure, just all around a really solid looking Protoceratops figure. What a great year for Protoceratops 2020. We're getting three great Protoceratops figures. We got this one, we got the one coming out at the end of the year from Beast of the Mesozoic, and we got the little one that just came out from Wild Pass. So 2020, definitely a great year if you're a fan of Protoceratops. And then going down to the tail right here, you have the classic signature Dirty Cloaca from Collecting. Now, this was not as bad as some of the other figures. You really don't have that blast of brown around the Cloaca opening. So this is definitely a very clean dino butthole on this figure. And then going down to the tail, you can see the quills on the tail are sculpted quite nicely. Now, these quills on Protoceratops are just speculative. You know, Takasaurus, I believe, is the only... Ceratops being found with the quills, but you know, ever since that discovery was made, it seems like Collect Day threw the quills on almost all the Ceratopsian figures going forward. So, all in all, really, really cool looking figure. I really like this Protoceratops. So, let's move on with some comparisons, start with some other Protoceratops figures from other companies right here. Here is the Resaurus Carnage Collection Protoceratops. This figure came out a while ago. I believe the Protoceratops and the Deinonychus are probably the two rarest figures in the Carnage Collection line. You can see this figure actually kind of scales pretty well with this Protoceratops. It's just a little bit larger than the Collecte one. And right here, here's the very tiny 135 scale Protoceratops that recently came out from Wild Pass, I highly recommend you pick up that figure. This is the first figure in this series, and they're only making 500 of this Protoceratops. So definitely, definitely don't sleep, sleep on this little Protoceratops figure. Next up are some Ceratopsian figures from Collectate. Here it is with its their deluxe Styracosaurus. And here it is with their standard Ineosaurus, standard Xenoceratops, and standard regalus ceratops and you can see right here in this picture i'm talking about all these have the quills on their back which like i said is speculative right now there is no evidence that these larger species have the quills on their backs as of yet and next up like i said earlier in the review this protoceratops is roughly about one six scale which means it scales perfectly with the beast of the mesozoic raptors here it is right here with the Dromaeosaurus. So if you have the Velociraptor Beast of the Mesozoic figure, that figure would scale perfectly with this Protoceratops. You could get some a lot of fun display options if you have that figure. And here is the Protoceratops with some dinosaur egg nests from Rebor. Part of the reason why Protoceratops is so popular when this animal was discovered in the 1920s, it was found with eggs and those eggs were the first dinosaur eggs ever discovered. And it was thought that those eggs belonged to Protoceratops and that's why this dinosaur became so popular. But it was later found out that those eggs originally found with it belonged to Overraptor. It wasn't until 2011 that the first actual Protoceratops nest was discovered. So if you want to display your Protoceratops with a nest, these rebore nests work out pretty well. They may, might be a little bit on the large side, but they do look really well with this Protoceratops. Now, these eggs are not even close to the shape of a Protoceratops egg. This one right here with the round eggs is the sauropod nest, and this nest right here with the elongated eggs are the is the theropod nest. But like I said, it just gives you another option if you want to display this Protoceratops with a nest. And lastly, here it is with the other Collecti 2020 figures I end up getting in from Mini Zoo, the bizarre looking Bajrasaurus and the Ornithopod Fukuisaurus. So be on the lookout for the reviews on these two coming up on the channel relatively shortly. Final thoughts on this figure. I really like this new Collecti Protoceratops. It is such a good looking figure. It's a nice size figure. It's very solid feeling when you're holding it. A lot of beautiful detail on it. This figure just feels great in here. A lot of nice texture. My only complaint on it is the jaw articulation. Like I said, Collecte really aren't the best at executing the articulation 
uh, the jar articulation on their figures and this protoceratops is no different it just looks weird when you're trying to close it just doesn't look right at all but when you keep it open like that i think the figure looks great so i'm definitely going to be displaying it with its mouth wide open so yes i definitely highly recommend that you pick this figure up you will not be disappointed and like I said, and again, this figure from Mini Zoo, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to order it from them. And Everything Dinosaur also has this figure now in stock too, so I'll leave a link to Everything Dinosaur also in the description so you can take your pick where you want to get this figure from. So be on the lookout for the reviews on the other Collecti 2020 figures, the Bajosaurus and the Fukuisaurus. And I do have some of the other new 2020 Collect Day figures coming in from Everything Dinosaur. Hopefully, I should have those sometime next week. So over the next few weeks on the channel, you're going to be seeing a lot of Collect Day reviews. So that would do it for the review. As always, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, show your support by hitting that subscription button just below the video. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously, and it's greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys for the next one.